It's time for Ink the Book Show with your host, Ryan O'Connor. And now, let's ink the book. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Ink the Book Show. Today's edition of Ink the Book Show. Uh, come watch the stream. Watch it till the end. Or be forever cursed. Uh, share the link with ten people. Or die where you stand. I'm just pouring my tea here. Uh, we're coloring a new page. Let me share the screen. Where are we? Let's see here. Photoshop. Bazinga. Here's what we're working on today. Oh, let me remove this. I don't want to get the stream too cluttered up. Like, uh, I think... I think my computer got really bogged down yesterday with, um... All the stuff I had open and, uh... The stream kind of collapsed in on itself by the end of it. I don't know. It died. Dumb novel. Howdy do, neighbor. Um, my brother just asked if I wanted to go see Cocaine Bear today. So I think I'm going to do that tonight. Uh, here's the page I just finished. I think. But uh, I might I might tour around with that further still I don't know. But uh, let's see how I'm gonna start this page. I think I'm gonna grab some color from this page. Um, man, I swear I I think my brain powers down when I start uh, stream lightly. I've been drawing, I've been coloring all day. And then the second I start a stream, I'm like, duh, what, how do I do it? Oh, you know what? You know what I can do? Because I made a gutters panel for this, or a gutters layer, rather, where, um, like, I'll show you. So I just selected the gutters earlier and then filled it with white. So I can just fill everything else with this color. Right? Not that color. What the heck? Why did they even do that? Because I'm on a grade, not a uh, paint bucket. Why did it think so hard about that? Maybe streaming is not something. That's gonna work out for me these days. I don't know. Maybe my computer's had it with this business. Um, let's see, and then I'll go from there. I'm gonna just start with my characters here because that's always the funnest part. So I need to get his color. And he's on just about every panel of this page. I'm just going to color all the skulls of Denton Crux. Let me just zoom super in. So before I was starting out real sloppy, just slamming the colors in real sloppy trying to fill in the page but if I do it that sloppy I think it's it just makes things harder when I'm trying to tidy it up so I, I'm gonna be a little more careful this time 
as being as being ultra cavalier. And I laid this stuff down on the last page. And here, I'll even clean this up right now as I go. I'll just get off to a very conservative start. Um, in two days, I've read about half of, uh, what do you call it? Lord of the Flies, which I've never read before. I'm liking it. I like that book so far. Tomorrow it'll be my least favorite book ever. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see what happened yesterday. After I ended the stream yesterday, I wait. After, uh, after I ended the stream yesterday, I. Uh, baked some cookies, some chocolate chip cookies. I went to my mom and dad's house and shared them with my, my brothers and my nephews. And now I'm just being, I don't, I don't need to get this detailed into what I'm no. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Going all over the place. So then I gotta have like an eagle eye and find it all later. Speaking of eagle eye, um, I was, I'm not, this is all I'm doing on the internet lately, so I'm not listening to any streaming lately. Or I'm not watching stuff streaming. Like if I'm at if I'm at like my parents' house and we've got the TV on, fair enough. But is if I'm not spending my my free time just hanging out uh, around the house watching TV or on the on my phone, I'm trying to avoid it. So, but uh, but uh, about a couple weeks ago, I was listening to Eagle Eye Cherry on Spotify, but. The album I was trying to listen to only had like four songs available and the rest of them were like blanked out for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, um, uh, cause he had that song in the nineties, Save Tonight, which I really like. Um, so I was looking him up and I found out his name is actually, I thought it was the band name, but the guy's name is actually like Eagle Eye Cherry. It's like he's got a middle name in there somewhere. But he's like a, like a I think he was Swedish or something. I forget what where he's from, but uh his name is Eagle Eye Cherry. I was not expecting. And I watched that video, the music video for that song at the time too, uh, which I hadn't seen since it first came out. And uh, I, I always liked that video because it was, um, it's like he's everybody in the video kind of. It's like, a, it's the whole music video is one shot and it just follows him around. And then it's like all of a sudden He's the butcher in the butcher shop, and then he's the guy robbing the butcher shop, and then he's the guy who's driving a truck that crashes into I don't remember. But um it's like it just it, it like follows him and then it turns onto somebody else and it and then he's that guy too.
I wanted to listen to that album a while back, and uh, I don't know why Spotify doesn't have it. It's only four tracks. We played uh, Sorry last night, me and my nephew and my two brothers, and uh, my other brother is driving up to, uh, I think he in Florida right now. Just embarked on a trip to Florida yesterday. But um but uh butter what was I saying? Oh yeah we were playing sorry and uh kinda like all wandered away at the end of the night and from the game and my uh my nephew came up to me and he's like so me liam and dad all all are tied in first place i was like oh so i'm the only loser <laughs> it's like yeah you're in third place i was like no i think i'm in fourth place it's like yeah yeah that's it you're in fourth place Story of my life. King of the losers. My mom bought me a shirt. Nice shirt. I'm wearing it now. It's got like a like a high collar and it's like a zipper in the front. Like down my chest. I don't know. It's, it's real nice looking. I guess she got it for me for Valentine's. Let's get, uh, whoops, I copy uh, This guy's name is Denton Crux. And, uh, he is not the main character. Bonehead, the title character of this book is named Bonehead, but that's not him. It's just another boneheaded character in this book. But this is a little bit of a backstory before we're introduced to the main character. So this takes place like, I don't know, 10 years before the story starts, or more maybe? I think about 10 years is what I figure. So the first 22 pages, 20, I think it's 22 pages, is this little backstory. So around 5.30, which we'll put the stream at about an hour, I gotta end the stream. And then uh, I gotta do like some kind of sketchbook drawing, post that, and then what am I doing? And then I'm uh, getting out of here to go join my brother for Cocaine Bear, the movie. There was also talk of seeing, um, possibly seeing Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, both of which we talk about on Liam's Nam Just podcast. On one episode, I forget what, what number episode. Oh, the, I, know, I do know that the episode is called Hundred Acre Wood. <laughs> Um, but uh, <laughs> anyway, that's Ling's Nam Just podcast that he does sometimes, and I do sometimes with him. I have crumbs. I don't worry about that color.
My brain is so bad, I couldn't remember what color I had in the second part. I give myself a hard time all the time. My brain's fine, I'm sure. I, my roommates are out right now uh, doing some kind of tasting. I think they're trying a bunch of meat. Because uh, trying to find out who's catering for their wedding. They're trying to decide. So they're checking places out today, I think. Okay, let's see. So that's that. Let's get this king's skin color selected. It's the, the king of planet Montana. Montana's worse than Texas. They think they're the entire planet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's a different Montana. <laughs> Did you ever see that? <laughs> there, uh, there's that uh, things that Texas is bigger than, and then it, it it it's like the outline of Texas, right? And then it's got like. I don't know, it's got like, like various states inside, and then it's got like the entire United States, and then it's got like <laughs> every continent on Earth or something. Uh, I probably didn't explain that well, but... I haven't seen it in a while. Um, another panel with this guy. I need to get me some new books. Cause uh I'm running out of books like after I finish the ones that I'm currently reading. Which is I'm reading an always sunny in Philadelphia book where uh it's like the gang write, writes a self help book. I forget the the true title of it, but that's like the subtitle. And then I'm also reading Lord of the Flies, and I finished the other books I was reading. I have two Kurt Vonnegut books I could read. I think Cat's Cradle and uh, some other one.
what else do I have over here? I have uh, some book called Captain Hook. I have some Neil Gaiman books over here that I started reading like 20 years ago. What, love? There you are. How's it going? It has been a while. Where you been? How are you? Have you even uh, seen that I finished inking the book and now I'm coloring it? I'm doing great. Get a load of this. Besides, um, besides streaming and posting my my drawings right now, starting at the beginning of Lent, because I'm Catholic, so I'm I'm not I'm staying off the internet. Besides posting my stuff and streaming, oh, what am I doing? I'm messing with my um, accidentally messing with my the format of my computer screen yeah i'm doing the coloring here i should show you um some pages real quick let's see if i can uh share screen I'll share oh i gotta open up this other program real quick i'll leave it on the art for a minute Lightning. There we go. Um, let's see if I can open up this program where I have all the pages. Okay. I'll share this. I just need to navigate. Oh, that's good to School isn't uh, so overwhelming right now. Let's see, I'm gonna oops. share Manga Studio. So, here's my cover. Here. Look at them bugs. I'll let the text in here too so far. I, I uh uh, here. Pretty sure I showed. I I think I might have. And I don't know. I'm pretty sure I showed this page on the stream. This one I definitely did on the stream. This one I was working on yesterday. Thank you. Oh, cool. Your exams are done. Um, I'm gonna try and share Photoshop again. There we go. So this is exciting because it's, um, Um, it's starting to look real to me. What I was saying with the, the on the last couple color streams that uh, it's like when I have just the flat colors, I'm always I, I keep being disappointed. Like when it's just like even here, there's a little bit of um, there's a little bit of gradient and stuff like like effecty stuff but uh like i would get to this part of the coloring like where it looked like this 
and I'd be like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about the colors. I think it, yeah, maybe this page doesn't work. Although this isn't a great example because that looks fine, I feel like. But uh, then I once I start adding the shadows and all the effecty stuff, it's really I'm I get really excited about it. Yeah. If one day it comes out in the library, I will be the first one to buy it. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh... I'm gonna do my best to make that, that happen. Um, I need... this hair. of the coloring i'm kind of just i do a lot of uh i just hold my finger on uh, the i button and the b button the i selects a color and then the b changes it to the brush I'm just going back and forth like the more colors i add i just kind of like keep toggling back and forth Um, you know what? I was really nervous about having to start coloring it. Um, but I, uh, like once I, once I started and kind of figured out how I was, like how to kind of start, It kind of, like once I kind of got my system worked out, it's not that bad. It is a little daunting some days where I haven't gotten too far. The, the pages are taking me longer to color than to ink. I kind of expected that. I wish I could do it faster. Because who knows how long I'm going to be coloring the whole thing. How did I put the pages into the computer? Um, see, I'd been looking for a, a scanner to scan my 11 by 17 inch pages. And I never found one. So what I did was I went to FedEx office and um, they've got like self, self service scanners there where you can just go in and scan your pages for, on the website, I. I could have sworn it said they were it was 24 cents a piece to scan the pages but it was like 50 cents a piece or 50 cents a page to scan it there um but i mean not terrible i guess um but yeah so i i scanned the first 30 pages uh there already and then um 
it let me email them to myself and then now I, I brought them into Photoshop and kind of um, cleaned up the skin. I can show you how I set up another page. So I just did this with this page uh, yesterday, but I didn't do it on stream. Let me get my skins folder. Um, there's the next page. So it's going to be this one. Okay, so, so this is my raw scan, right? And then the first thing I do is I go to image, adjustments, uh, threshold. I kind of let me zoom in a bit. Just kind of bump it up a little bit. Hit OK. And that, and that brings everything to either black or white. And it, so there's no gray values. Um, and then... Get layer. Multiply. Oh, you know what? Well, that's fine. I also have to change it to mode CMYK from because when you do the threshold, it brings it to um, it makes it all gray or at like um, grayscale. It puts it in grayscale mode. So if I start coloring, it's all going to be gray colors. Um, put it into this one. So then I bring it back to CMYK when I'm ready to start coloring. So I'm going to duplicate that again. Wait, I didn't do that. I'm going to, I'll say, duplicate it. You know what I just realized? I can't see the comments. There we go. So, duplicated it, and then we put that to multiply. And then if I start coloring, it's going to be in between these two layers. So that'll be my color layer. In the meantime, I'm going to uncheck these, or unlock them. Oh, dang it. You know what? I, I'm just going to delete this for now, because you know what I want to do first? I'm going to select all this. I take white. And I'm going to just take a huge brush and just white all that out. So I don't need my page number on here. And I don't need any of the, this extra crumbs or whatever little scanning debris or pencil mix or whatever might have gotten picked up on the scanner. And I'll duplicate it again. Because otherwise I'd have to do it with both of those layers. 
I don't want to do it twice. Or, or find everything twice. Um, I think I did part of this side already. Yeah, I think I did here already. Okay. And I'm gonna save this as file. Save as uh, in. uh this is gonna be I gotta cancel. Bonehead 18. Save as bonehead. Oh, eighteen. And so much. Oh. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to close this. Oh, my size of my. Guys, here. Where am I? Where am I? Yesterday's stream, my uh, computer had a panic attack or something. <laughs> I was about to end the stream anyway, but it, it was like all of a sudden everything stopped working. I think I had too many things running. As far as this being hard, I'd say no. I don't know how to do anything hard. So, <laughs> um, so even the the more complicated stuff, like messing with the gradients and uh, doing the tr like the transparent helmets, that's just me putting white over there. It, like I'm just selecting the, the line work and then painting white over it and then I select the uh, inverse and paint white over that 
and then I bring the opacity down over here. That 42. So I just filled that with white. I just avoided doing the outline, or I would erase around the outline so it doesn't, uh, that part isn't transparent looking. And then I just bring the opacity down. Um, that's, and then kind of what the shadows is too, is like the shadows is just me painting on a multiply layer. And then I bring that down to 35, but if it's, um, see my shadow is just this purple color and I just pretty much use that all over the page. Um, let me say 35. And then, what's the other tricky thing I do? I was just thinking of something else. What's the other tricky thing? Oh, the color holds. The other weird thing. So see their eyes? Their eyes are... They... I inked them black, but then what I did was I took this magic wandy thingy and I would select the black. Oh, actually, I have to be on the. There's my line work layer. Select the black, and it's right there, it's selecting all the black where it's touching. But if I unselect contiguous, I'll try that again. And it'll select all the black on the whole page. And uh, then I'll zoom in. And I'll, I'll decide, like, I want this whole chair, just the chair, to be dark brown outline instead of black. And that'll make it stand out. I'm not really going to do this, but... So I'll pick my dark brown color. And then I'll switch to my brush. And I'll start going over that outline. And I'll go right up to, like, I don't want to do the carpet and I don't want to do the floor. But you know what? Here's something I got to do. Because when I start messing with this stuff, it starts doing, um, you can see, I don't know why necessarily, but you can start seeing where, let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. See how it's like not doing solid? It's like, what it's showing me, like how it's kind of like, you see a bunch of weird colors. Liam's trying to get in, but I don't see him down here. Where I can add him. Uh, yeah, I don't see you in, oh, here he is. Cardinal, it's him. Is his name on here. Founder of Blue Jays, R. Yucky. I don't know. It gave me an option of like, what's what are you founder of? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, but see how it's like all like a uh, goofy looking here. It's not like the solid color. I think when I start messing around with that stuff a little bit, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to duplicate this layer. It's backwards on my pen. It all looks like how we used to draw on the on the computer back in the day, but that's because it's really up close. What music is that? Uh, you made this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, it's just some StreamYard music. Oh, I kind of like it. Why can't I see my color? Hole? They call me Mr. StreamYard because I like to rap a lot. Sometimes I, maybe it's not lining up for you. Am I rapping on beat? I don't even know if you can tell, but I'm going in just like I'm Jay-Z. Sometimes I like to smell my pee. Just kidding. You know that I'm going harder mm. than Kurt Schilling. Yeah, on, but... What? Uh, I was just trying to show how to make this. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Let's cloppy. But I had a solution to that. Now I can't. 
I was just shown how to do color holes. I thought. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that anyway. It's looking slickers and pockets and undies. You know that I only accept a hundred dollar bills. Hey, are we going to see that movie? Yeah, we're going to see Cocaine Bear, I guess. If you want. Should I get tickets for this time, then? Um... Yes. Is it opening day? I don't know. (laughs) I think it's been out, right? And then there's seats by, like, Vinny and his parents, and he's like, if you guys want to grab those, I'm like, should we? Oh, they're going to? Yeah. Darn. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe I can ask some people if they want to go. Do you say what, love? You want to go? See Cocaine Bear? Um, what is love? What love's here? Dominami was here earlier. Maybe Dominami's still watching. I'm not insane. I'm just a little berserk. Correct. Sometimes I like to watch myself twerk in the mirror before I shower. Just to know that I have a little power. And then we let the beat ride for a minute. Um, you know what, Liam? I'm What's only that? until about five thirty. What you say? Another. I'm only gonna be streaming for another like fifteen minutes. Very interesting. Because you're talking about seeing that movie at uh what eight thirty? That's right. Eight ten. Eight ten. Because I gotta do. You know. You know, movies got strange times. I'm going to be uh, doing some sketch drawings. Uh, After this, I also want to... um, I I was saying yesterday, I'm going through this... um, Remember I was doing that that Harvard Justice course? That pre-Harvard Justice course thing? You're you're studying at Harvard. There, Harvard has a bunch of um, online courses for free. It's like Harvard X or something. And uh, I did I signed up for a justice course, only available for such and such amount of time, and I was taking too long, so I kind of rushed through the end of it. And I don't know if I watched all, all of the last, uh, but I downloaded all the stuff. I mean, I guess I could always sign back up for it. What is justice? Like, uh, like, um, it, it's like a lot of, a lot to do with morality and, and like society and I don't know. But anyway, you're, you're going to be a Harvard graduate of society. I mean, oh, what loves back? Liam's here. Welcome back. We're going to go see the movie Cocaine Bear tonight. (laughs) It's about a bear. Well, I think you can guess where to go from there. It's about a bear who does coke. It's not a special name, like, with a different meaning. It's about a bear who does coke. Good judgment. Yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. Nice. Gucci Got the Flu knows the score. But that's, let me tell you this now. Well, that's what that's a lot of responsibility to be a Harvard graduate. Of good well, uh, you can you can pay to get it. Um, you like you can pay. I think you can pay to get a certificate. I don't know like how. Uh, how it uh, fares and toward a degree or anything, but um. But yeah, they they do have a bunch of courses that you can take for free, and um, 
you know, I just wanted to go through it again to, so I can be confident that I've done the whole thing. So I, I wasn't going to be able to do all the courses. Like, I, I kept putting classes off for various re or putting some of the lectures off for various reasons. And I was going to lose it all because it was, like, going to be up. And so I just downloaded everything because you could download all the lectures and everything and all the reading. Um, so I saved all that and I'm going through it again. But like I say, I guess since it was free, I could always just sign up again. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, so I wanted to do the second lecture today because I just restarted it yesterday. But I've okay. seen the first five like a number of times, like so many times, because um, I originally watched them online. They were on YouTube. The first five were on YouTube for, for, for like, you don't have to sign up. It was just like they were just posted to YouTube independently. So you could see what you're getting, kind of. So let me get this right. No. If you graduate from Harvard, <laughs> I'm not graduating from Harvard with a doctorate in good and evil. Uh huh. Then that means you have to never be evil. Nah, just kidding. Uh, correct. They give you the certificate. They go, don't do evil, okay? What's up? Okay, I'm gonna. His uniform here. There's uh, what do you call it? Space suit. What? Oh, there it goes. So, what are you up to, William? Well, I'm just sitting here in my studio, but uh, not really doing much anymore. Evil doers must be deleted. Yeah. To hell with you, evil doers! All evil doers. All of a sudden, the entire world goes insane. What's that? I said, all of a sudden, the entire world goes extinct. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Gucci got the flu. Cheapers. You know how I do. This beat is uh kind of messing with my. It's kind of hypnotizing me. How about this one? Oh, even even more hypnotizing. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I said the L M N O P. You know that I'm running through these dirty, dirty streets. I don't even know if I'm on beat to you guys. Oh yeah, you're gonna play music for us? Here, let's uh... I don't got no music. Let's have it. I'm not playing no music. You're holding a guitar presently, or a bass. <laughs> yeah, but what was hey? What am I supposed to play? Uh... I don't know, you were playing Blink-182 before. This is Asthenia. This is a story of a lonely guy. Oh, my bad. And then the rest of the song is not very fun to listen to in terms of just playing the bass. And I don't know much. That's when I go to a talent show and I go, I don't know much. They're like, why are you here?
<laughs> That's so cool. He just like taught himself how to play this stuff like uh, within the past couple months. Keep missing the strings. <laughs> Almost sounds like exactly like the album. It's pretty cool. So, uh, have you taught yourself how to play anything that's not Blink One Eight Two? Well, like there are songs not by Blink One Eight Two. I go, what the hell does that mean? No, I'm just kidding, but, um, oh, uh, yeah, but it's not really exciting. I've just been learning basic things. Hot cross bones. Actually, I haven't been learning recently at all. It's probably been a couple months since I've even tried to learn a new song. I've been working on a very, uh, on a, on a, on a very sad album. Oh, shoot. Why isn't it a happy album? You should make, you should, I don't know. Forget how to play this one. What is the time that it is? I gotta, I gotta wrap this up soon. If I must. Did I say sad? I meant sad as in pathetic. Reminds <laughs> <laughs> me of a song. It goes a little something like this. <laughs> it just goes, we will, we will. I'm going to play the Blink-22 song, Pathetic, there. Oh. <laughs> and it goes like this. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, I just got a couple bags of chips in me. No, I'm just kidding. I got I got three way beat in the game of sorry last night. I'm the only <laughs> loser in the game. I didn't even know losers exist in sorry. Uh, what is that? Is this your music? Yeah. Oh really? I don't think I've heard that. That sounds cool. Oh, you're about to get my channel uh, blown to smithereens. I don't know how to play the I guitar. Playing, so like, the Arctic I, don't know. Or <laughs> I don't even know what an Arctic monkey is. Band wise, I say I don't even I don't know how to play the guitar, so I just play one note. Why do I keep doing that? I keep selecting the other color and then trying to use the first one on the next panel. Why does he start off like with a shadow and now you're unshadowing him or he starts out dark? Oh, I, I just put, like I dropped in the back, like kind of a background color for everything. Um, just to, Just so I know I'm not leaving anything untouched you know what i mean yeah 
Um, yeah, so everything's kind of just at least got some color in it. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Are you enjoying your bird seed pigeon? Um, this bird seed good. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Norm Macdonald as the pigeon in the Mike Tyson mysteries on Adult Swim was (laughs) hysterical. But uh, my roommates are home, and it's time for me to move on to the next thing. So I'm going to do that if I plan on going to see this movie with you. Okay. Wait, let me finish filling this in. They're going to come in here and start swearing up a storm because... Oh, see, there's my, my alarm to remind me to end the stream. Why would they be swearing? I don't know. That's because uh, they don't know that I'm streaming or something. That's just that's just the nature of streaming with other people in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they come in, they go, what in gadzook, monkey, something bad word, mother <laughs> banana is going on? Yeah, paint his pelvis. All right. <laughs> Okay. How many pages did you color? This is 17. How many on this stream? Um, just this one. Oh. I showed, I was showing off some of the other pages to, uh, to old what love earlier who didn't know i was coloring it yet i think this is the first time she's seen me coloring and she goes ah that stinks she talks like that she goes ah jeez that stinks stinks in here what did you eat today oatmeal yeah oatmeal does isn't that potent (laughs) (laughs) it almost tastes smells and tastes like nothing This is where I'm stopping now. Oh, look, everybody's home. Well, with that, thanks for coming on, man. Oops. No problem. (laughs) (laughs) Just me. Why just me? (laughs) I don't know. Now I'm too big. All right, everyone. I guess it's me closing off the show. Uh, you have a good one. Well, this has been another edition of Ink the Book Show. Wherein we color the book. All right. Bye, everybody. See you later tonight, Liam. All right. See you. Bye, everybody. Bye. I love you.